Hello, and welcome to KO Freak 112 News. On the new current reporting thingy, there is a cyber flu virus warning. Please read. The National Center for Vi Vi Virus Control has issued a threat level 5 warning about a new internet virus that can be transmitted from computers to humans, resulting in flu-like symptoms. Unlike traditional viruses, these are that are spread by email or software downloads, this cyber flu virus is transmitted to your PC when you browse a web page infected with the virus. The good news is that the cyber flu virus will not harm your computer and no data will be lost. Your PC just acts as a carrier, but under certain circumstances, the virus can be transferred from your PC to your body through contact. At-risk areas on your computer include disk drives, CD-ROM drives, USB ports used by memory sticks, music players, etc. Do not come in contact with these devices. You cannot get the virus just by using your keyboard or mouse, but it can be passed onto your computer from other people's discs slash CD-ROMs. People with weakened immune systems, pre-existing medical conditions, kids, and the elderly are especially susceptible to the virus. Flu vaccinations do not protect against this new strain, although researchers are working on creating a new vaccine for it. Symptoms include fever, chills, headaches, weakness, tiredness, itching, muscle aches, loss of appetite, bloody nose, blurry vision, drooling, seizures, coughing, stretch marks, sore throat, toenail fungus, stuttering, and diarrhea. If you think you are infected, please contact your doctor. Eating chocolate and other cocoa-based products like coffee, cocoa puffs, chocolate milk, etc. has been reported to make the symptoms worse. The cyber flu can be treated with prescription medicine and has no long-term effects, but early treatment will lessen the severity of the infection. The cyber flu has similar epidemiology to recent outbreaks of the bird flu in Asia, which has caused several human deaths of people that came into contact with infected birds. In the last two years, more than 100 million birds either died from the disease or were killed in order to try to control the outbreak. The bird flu is a variation of the Spanish flu of 1918 that spread from birds to humans, killing over 20 million people worldwide. The jump from the computer virus to human virus is accomplished using new technology that combines theories of quantum physics, gen genetic er engineering, nanotechnology, and biological computing. On an infected website, the cyber flu virus attaches itself to the electrical particles that make up the site. When the website is viewed in your browser, a copy of it downloaded to your computer and put in temporary memory just like with other websites. Normally, this copy is deleted after a few days, but that after... But after an infected website is viewed, the virus stays in your computer even after the temporary data that it came with is erased. Your computer does not recognize the virus particles, so it does not erase them. These virus particles, which are still in data form at this point, are then transformed into a biological virus in a way similar to how music data is transformed into sound through your speakers, and video data is transformed into images on your monitor. Once converted to a human virus, it multiplies and spreads inside your computer. Standard antivirus computer programs like Norton Antivirus and McAfee do not detect the cyber flu, flu virus because it does not act like a normal PC virus. Instead of attacking files on your computer, which is something that can be easily detected by an antivirus program, the cyber flu virus stays dormant inside your computer waiting to be released into the environment. But it can be irritated dictated from your computer using a free cyber flu removal program. This program redirects a small amount of power from your monitor and uses the energy to periodically release small electrical impulses inside your computer at a special wavelength that kills the virus. Since there is no way to detect if your computer is harboring the virus, all PC users should run the removal program to make sure their computer is virus free. For a list of free cyber flu removal programs that you can download, click here, which you can't do. Below are F or after example images from inside the infected computer, which I will show you. Before, after. Wonderful. Back off. If you would like to read for this yourself, go to www.cyberflu.com. Thank you very much. That was from board.com, which is like my favorite website because it's got this cool thing called the boredom list. And that's really amusing to read, I guess. Sure. But yeah, stop staring at me.